very much like physical health when you go to the doctor. Their goal is to work on the flu or fever or some sort of internal issue. The importance of emotional or mental health is just as valuable. It's to work on anxiety where you have trouble getting out and spending time with friends, depression where their motivation is incredibly low, anger that is bleeding into relationships and you're reacting in ways that you wouldn't normally. I am Brian Zinn. I am the owner of Zen Life Counseling in Colleyville, Texas. I am a practitioner that uses a lot of meditative exercise and mindfulness. The reason why is because if someone's discontent is what I would say, that means there's something inside that's incongruent in their life, in their spirit, body, and mind. And so taking a moment to just breathe, letting the prefrontal cortex kick in, let the emotional brain regulate to let the fight, flight, freeze, reduce, and to really picture what am I trying to get to? What is my intentionality here? Once you really sit down with your emotions and all those different things, you'll really understand what's making you discontent. I always tell my clients that they are the experts. They know the areas in their life that's bothering them. They know the things that they want to give attention to, the things they want to cultivate and foster. My job is simply to help figure out what that is and then how do we want to help that grow. You know the plants you want to have in your garden. You know the things that you want to grow and develop and you also know the things that you probably want to remove. And so my goal is to figure out how to create that. Zen Life is about finding that balance. How do we navigate in this world of constant change but also constant acceptance? When people are weary of counseling, what can they do? Look on different directories, ask a friend for a referral, Think about when we were kids. The first time we went to a doctor's office, you're probably so nervous. Oh my gosh, am I going to get a shot? Or what's going to happen? What are we doing here? Counseling can be the same thing. So first off, thank you for having the bravery to come in and come into the waiting room and sitting there with all those nerves. Um, just remember, everything we do the first time will be nerve wracking. The first time you got on a roller coaster, it's nerve wracking. The first time you went on a first date, it was probably heart pounding inducing. And so same thing for counseling come in, feel that anxiety, but once you walk into that door and you come and take a seat, let us help make you feel at ease, help you feel comfortable, and help navigate you to wherever you need to be. It's so important at Zen Life that we also do racial bias trainings, that we make sure that we try to get inclusive therapists. We're LGBTQ aligned. We have a LGBTQ aligned therapist. We have Spanish speaking therapists. We continue to want to explore and find therapists with different backgrounds because we want to serve all people in our community.